All right, you guys, all of you have been asking about my skincare routine because I posted on Snapchat, which is Marlena Stell, by the way. Go follow me on there because I have lots of fun stuff for you guys that you miss out on. But um, I swear that my skin has been better now than it was 10 years ago because of specific things that I've done. So I'm now 37 and I look at my skin from 27 to now and it's actually better. My pores are smaller, it's smoother. I mean, obviously it's not perfect. I still have some redness and stuff, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing the last several years to try to keep it in order. Um, now, if you guys notice, I don't have wrinkles and such and I have been very open and honest about doing fillers under my eyes because I've lost volume and stuff. But other than that, a lot of it has been from using retinol, doing laser treatments, which I'll talk, talk about in a second. <laughs> so what I want to show you guys is my skincare routine. So if I'm wearing makeup, this is at nighttime. What I'll do is I'll just take some wipes of any sort and I'll just wipe the makeup off to get the first step of uh, clean. So if you're wearing makeup, always wipe it off first. Don't try to wash it because you won't get all of that makeup off and you want to get everything out of your pores as much as possible. So just take some wipes wipe it, throw it away. And then the next step I do is cleanse. And I love, love, love my girl, uh, Christina. Hi, Christina. She has a line aesthetic arts. I've been using this for two years now. It's incredible. So what I do is I take the hydrating Jasmine gel. It's a hydrating, um, cleanser and it's a little gel like that. And what I'll do is I'll just lather it up on my face. And it cleanses your skin really well, but it doesn't dry it out. So what I do is I'll just wipe it on like that. And then I'll take my washcloth and I'll wet it and just wipe it off to get my face nice and clean. And make sure not to uh, stretch too much under your eyes. So I'm just really gently doing that. So now that my face is nice and clean, now if it's nighttime, this, are you guys listening, is my number one thing I've done for years that has improved my skin texture. It doesn't cost too much. It's easy to get, is using retinol. So what I get um, is I'm on 1% now, but when you start off, you wanna do 0 0.05. You don't wanna go too strong because it will cause resonance and it'll cause your skin to flake off. But what it does is it improves your skin texture, it shrinks your pores, it helps keep wrinkles at bay. It is, I swear, the most amazing thing. I've been using it for five years. Um, so what I do at night is after I wash my face, you don't wanna do this um, in the morning as well. And if you're just starting, do it every two or three days, don't do it every night. So you'll start off every third day, put the retinol on after you cleanse, and then after a couple months when your skin accustoms to it, then you can do every other night and then work up to every night. So now I'm on every night and I bumped it up to 1% retinol. You can get this at a dermatologist office, um, you can get it at a medical spa, any place that has uh, nurses that can sometimes prescribe it if you want the actual prescription strength. So what I do is I just take a little bit in and make sure to put it on your neck and chest too because that can get wrinkly and your skin texture can get bad. And I just put a little layer on just like that. So then once you let that sit, now you can add your moisture. Now for me, I have dry skin. If you guys have oily skin, you may not need this step, but I'm super, super dry. So I like to use a hyaluronic acid and what that does is it soaks in all the moisture and it keeps it in your skin. So it plumps it up, keeps it nice and soft and hydrating. The one I really like right now is by H2V. I got this at my spa where I get facials at. So you guys can just look on Amazon, honestly. Get some cheap ass hyaluronic acid. They sell it everywhere, 10 bucks, any brand. It does not matter which one. So what I do is I have the little dropper and then I'll take a bit in my hands and it's like a really nice feeling slick serum, but it's not greasy at all. And I just put that on and again, put it on your neck too. I take just a teeny bit more on my fingertips and then just pat it here on my eyes. Okay. Now, if you guys have super, super dry skin like I do, what I'll add is just a little bit of oil. And this is optional. I don't use this every day. I just use it if I'm feeling really dehydrated, if I've traveled a lot and my skin is just super, super dry and flaky. 
You can take facial recovery oil. I use the one by Eminence and it's amazing. It has a whole mixture of different organic oils in there. It's amazing. So what I do is spot treat. Don't put this all over your face. Only put it on the spots where you feel that is dry. So what I do is I take a little drop. I'll put some in my hand. And for me, just my forehead gets dry. I don't know, it's really weird. The rest of my face is fine. So I put a little bit on my forehead and then my eyes sometimes can get a little dry. So I'll put just a bit on there. And then any other spots, like if around the edge of my face is dry and then I'll put a little bit on my lips because those are always dry. And then anything that's left over, you guys know to put on your hands, right? Anything, the retinol, moisturizer, facial oil, anything that's left, put on the back of your hands because there's nothing worse than having a really nice young looking face and then your hands are all haggard. So we don't want that. So don't let that product go to waste. Put it on those hands. <laughs> and then the final step is moisturizer. And I swear by this, you guys have know I've talked about this so many times. It is the Nia 24 moisturizer. Now I'm gonna do a disclaimer. This is expensive. I buy it on Amazon. It is around $90. Now, before you get upset, <laughs> I know it's a lot of money. And for me, every time I go to buy it, I hit the buy now on Amazon. I'm like, okay, <laughs> but I hit that click button. But I swear, it is the only moisturizer I've ever used that helps me not break out because I can break out very easily. It hydrates my skin, but doesn't leave it greasy. It has niacin in it, so I feel like it repairs my skin. I don't know what kind of like voodoo magic is in this bottle, but it is actually worth the money and it'll last you about nine to 12 months. So for me, spending $10 a month on a moisturizer that keeps my skin in order is worth it. I honestly, I think this is probably my 15th bottle. I have four in my counter right now because if they ever stop selling it, I'll start crying so I have backups at all times so what I do is I just put that was the cream that was not me guys that fart sound was not me I swear it was the bottle <laughs> so I put a little bit on there like that and then I just moisturize my face and don't forget that neck no one wants a crinkly old neck and then like I said don't forget those hands hands need some love too and that is pretty much it for my skincare now Couple things I wanna mention. If you guys have acneic skin, is that how I say it? Acne prone skin? Um, instead of using the oil to spot treat, you'll get a salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, and you can use that. They have it anywhere. They have it at drugstores, uh, Sephora, Ulta. Just get something that's an anti-acne treatment and just put it on the spots where you tend to break out before you moisturize. Let it sit for a couple minutes, then moisturize and you're good. Okay. Last step is laser treatment. So I have just recently, in the last few months, started doing a clear and brilliant laser. You guys, the texture of my skin has dramatically changed. It was, I think, around $200, so it is pricey, and I don't recommend you have to do this all the time. Maybe save up your money, do it once or twice a year just to keep the maintenance up, but it's the one that Christy Brinkley swears by, and I mean, come on, she's like 60-something, and she looks like she's in her 20s. Her skin is so flawless, so smooth. So what it is, it's in the Fraxel family, and but it's a low-level one, so it kind of has the same effect as Fraxel, but there's no downtime. What happens is the first day you get lasered, your skin's rough for um, like the first three days. It just has kind of a sandpapery feel, but no one else can see it. You'll just notice it when you wash your face. It's just a little rough. And then it'll slough off after day five. And what you have underneath and for the next couple weeks will have, I have no acne. It kills all of the acne. It sloughs off all the dead skin. It tightens everything. And the best part is my pores. My pores used to be huge in here. I mean, you could like eat cereal out of my pores. They were so big. And now that I do the Clear and Brilliant, they shrink down a lot. So that's one laser that I've tried. I'll try to experiment with others to tell you guys how I feel about them, but that's the only one I've tried so far and I freaking love it. So that is your anti-aging skincare routine. <laughs> so I'll link below you guys. Don't forget to check out, um, I'll list everything that I use and I'll link to a couple people that I think do clear and brilliant laser who I've gone to that are amazing. So hope that helps you guys with not aging. Cause you know, we all wanna keep young and fresh. So <laughs> take care you guys, I'll talk to you soon, bye.